even the devil. But the devil didn't go to the confessional and to the rectory to prevent him from sleeping. With his life, you will see how the devil found many tricks to prevent him from sleeping. Making noise like a rat eating the roof. Could not sleep. But at the end, he moved from the devil and said, Oh, that's just my old friend. We can afford him more. But he knew that when he was tempted, when he had to fight against the devil, that there was a good catch coming soon. A good fish, a big fish. You know, what you know what a big fish is? It's a sinner. Someone who has not made a confession for years. And when it comes to confession, I've not made my confession for 10 years, 20 years. That's a big fish. Good catch. First, Saint John Marie of Vienna paid for through many penances and fasting, virtual hours spending before the blessed sacrament. He realized that his parishioners would not do penance for themselves, would not pray enough for themselves and their family. So he did, like Jesus, who suffered on the cross instead of us. That's a Christian. The Christian. And he knew that he would have to answer for his soul. At the time, you know, in each and every village, there was a priest. And the priest knew that he was accountable for the salvation of the damnation of each and every soul of his parish. Now we have lost this concept of parish of have no boundaries and people come, travel. We don't know the flood as much as the established priests used to get to them. But he took his pastoral ship very seriously. He knew he was the comfortable of each soul and he said it's easy to be a brother than to be a father. That's time. And many times he was tempted give up. He fled one night. He wanted to leave the village. But to come. <laughs> there is one story that summarizes his life. Once he was sent to pass, he didn't know the, the way to get there and he got lost. The father. Oh, he found a little, little boy on the way. Say, my, my boy, do you know how to get to Mars? Oh, for sure, follow me. So, the belongings and the wife of the little child, and he said, Thank you, Antoine, thank you. You have shown me the way to get to Mars. I will show you the way to heaven. That's, that's his life. This whole world of things lived for the soul. He knew at the end of our lives that we said this thing as care for him. That's the bottom line. And he knew he was accountable for each and every sort of his care. All his experiences, prayers, Fasting on his life, his sermon, his catechism, and only one purpose to lead souls to heaven. And he said, Make souls. The devil himself, the devil himself said once, If they were free like him, my kingdom would be destroyed. Free, free like this. So we are not only one, we need two more. And the kingdom of the devil is mm -hmm. more. So, dear brethren, as we pray for the priest, especially the diocesan priest, and for the vocation, let us ask for the intercession of Saint John Marie. We 
we went in the seminary with life. I tell one of the seminary we meet with a weekend. When we meet with life, as we meet, it's easy. And we feel like we take it. But once we answer the world, it's stuck. Especially the life of dancing and this is stuck. To keep the balance between uh, spiritual life, ascetical life, mystical life, and the pastoral life. <coughs> so, we have this example. Pray for the peace. St. John's life must live totally for the salvation of soul. May also please, may I, may also please live totally for the salvation of souls. And his hostile life of prayer of penance broke down the grace to soften hardened hearts. You know, it's interesting that the son of the revolution, the saint was a victim of the revolution, he didn't do politics, but many masons and liberals converted at his confession. His life is a triumph of grace, of grace over nation. God can do great things through you if we are faithful to the grace that has been given to us for our vocation and our salvation. Thank you for your pray for